Librans, welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. This is going to be a general reading for the 20, wait, 20th, 21st, and 22nd of April, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's get started. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Wow. All right. Fantastic. This is for my Librans, right? And then you have... Okay. Achievement. Win the award, accolade, or contract. How cool is that? I love it. Wait. Come on now. Ah. There we go. You have, oh my God. She's popped up like almost for half the readings I've done just now. The uh, High Priestess. That's pretty interesting. I don't know why though. And you got the hawk, healing vision, rebirth, and spirituality. Beautiful. I love that card. The art hawk, man. It's just awesome. All right, let's get going, you guys. So my beautiful Librans, how are you doing? Just so you know, I do daily readings, weekend readings, monthly readings, yearly readings. Uh, I have a Facebook page. Uh, please visit. I also do personal readings. Get in touch with me. The real tarot 1123 at gmail.com. Um, and it could be anything work, career, personal, annual, birthday, whatever. But for the annual readings, I incorporate numerology, tarot, astrology, and uh, cowrie shells as well. All right, my beautiful Librans. Five of Wands, the Emperor, the Empress. Am I holding the deck upside down? Yep, I'm holding the deck upside down. So that's okay. I'm just going to lay them all out and turn them upright. Yep. Since I was holding the deck upside down, all of them you know came out this way and i don't do upside downs unless one odd card in card in the deck pops out and it pops out upside down so i'm just going to flip it over okay all right so to begin with you have five of wands so what is this this problem over here it looks like there is a lack of leadership there's a lack of somebody um saying hey come on get it together right a little bit of a conflict over here um, five of Wands is clearly all about, you know, rivalry and challenges and, and uh, obstacles and that sort of thing. And then you have the Emperor. Emperor is an Aries energy, right? And the, it's, it's uh, respect, leadership, planning, a father figure. And y'all, you got the Empress also. Wow. Fertility, creation, pregnancy, abundance and good parenting. Wow. Ace of, <laughs> Ace of Swords, you have new ideas. Uh, it could also mean new conflict. It could be lack, a mental clarity. It could be surgery. And then you have the Fool. Wow. You guys have the Emperor and the Empress. How cool is that? But I want to know, I want to know um, the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Because this is a beautiful reading and it says achievement, win the award, accolade a contract. So clearly you have the Ace of uh, Swords over here too. So, I mean, I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords. I was showing you the full card. So um, here, let me show it to you properly. You see that? Okay. And you see that achievement? Okay. So clearly 
clearly whatever it is you're going to go after it's going to be a new adventure for you but i want to see what this five of wands is all about i'm holding this also upside down yeah what's up with that okay oh two cards okay my dear librans i have the nine of cups as a clarifier for the five of wands and then i have the eight of rods so so five let's take it from the top so five five of wands is is uh, you know challenges obstacles you know rivalry and then you have the nine of cups right and the nine of cups is about wishes coming true materialistic abundance good health it could also mean like a little bit of overconfidence i want to say a little bit of smugness and then you have the eight of rods uh, uh, eight of uh, wands so the eight of wands is all about um speedy action uh, quick changes uh news coming really fast to you so i say whatever this competition is or whatever this nonsense is that's going on just hang in there keep your head on straight because it's all going to turn out fine because you're going to get some really good news it's going to come really fast and then you have the emperor so you will have to be smart about this you have to be uh, on your toes and strategic planning and and be a leader and show what you got i mean show your true metal and then you have this abundance pregnancy creation good parenting and then ace of swords and then the fool card you know what i think i think i think this is i think this is a pregnancy there was a little bit of a drama there it's like okay when's the baby going to come is the baby going to be here is the baby going to be uh, coming tomorrow when's the due date what did the doctor say and then there is a little bit of uh, you know um, what's the word uh, obviously wishes coming true and abundance and good health but there's also a little bit of smugness it's like oh everything is going to go according to plan type of thing and then it'll be like ah hold your horses <laughs> news coming through fast but with the emperor the empress and ace of swords i think it's going to be a c section or a cesarean type of a delivery and then it's off to a new adventure that's what i think this is that's what i'm picking up on i'm clearly picking up on a pregnancy and a c section type of situation um new moon in leo when is the next new moon y'all uh that could be significant for you uh you also have the high priestess um so maybe that that secrecy that little bit of uh, uh, mystery that drama uh, not knowing everything could be associated with this and the hawk card healing vision rebirth and spirituality you guys I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to leave it at that. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I have nothing else to say beyond that. I'm not getting anything else. It may may be very for a very small 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 percentage of people watching these videos this could be you know if it is a pregnancy type of situation then clearly this is for you. Oh wow. I see the compass right or what you call that that steering wheel compass thing on my jiggy the violin music oh beautiful and then you have another music oh wait is this a cello you guys somebody tell me because this i think is the violin right yeah wow how cool is that is there somebody over here who is a musician who either plays the cello or the violin if it is you then clearly this is for you and maybe a seaman but i want to say not the traditional ship i think i want to say competitive sailing don't ask me why competitive sailing um then this reading is for you all right you guys uh, thank you librans take care and i will see you on your weekend reading bye